Stuff going on for on and radar for us. Yeah, radar is lit up, lit up right now, and uh, we're seeing a lot of orange and red even, Heather. Yeah, I just wanted to call up the radar. This is for Western Plumas County. The National Weather Service just put out what they call a special weather statement, indicating the potential that some of these cells, which I mentioned about 10 minutes ago, all the lightning associated with them, indicating some hail. Yeah, there's likely some quarter to half inch sized hail falling from some of these cells. You can see how they're kind of congealing around the Crescent Mills area along Highway 147, parts of Highway. 70 headed down towards Quincy. Some gusty winds around 30 miles per hour also possible with some of those cells. So that's kind of where most of the feisty activity has been concentrated up in western Plumas County, parts of Sierra County. It's a lot quieter around Lake Tahoe. Here's a look at the temperatures right now across northern California. It's 73 degrees in Sacramento, but we're in the 80s in Yuba City and Stockton. You know what that means? Yeah, we've got the onshore flow again. This area of low pressure has been sitting pretty much right off the central coast for the last 24 hours or so. It brought us the cloud cover yesterday. Today it shifted a bit farther to the south, but we're still seeing that feed of moisture going up into the mountains and we're still seeing that onshore flow. You can see the winds here moving around this low over the next 24 hours. This is going to drop just a little bit farther to the south, but it's still going to stay close enough to bring some more showers and storms up to the Sierra. That would be for tomorrow afternoon. Wind gusts right now in Fairfield 32 miles per hour. We're gusting to 25 in the Sacramento area and Truckee gusting to 23 miles per hour. So even the higher peaks starting to see some of these stronger wind gusts as well. Here's the broader view of the radar. Again, these are the strong cells that we're keeping an eye on in Plumas County, not really moving all that much either. So we're going to watch out for some potential flooding in that area as well. Some stronger cells just to the south of South Lake Tahoe as well. Those are moving northward. Those will be close here within the next 30 minutes or so. So if you are still up around the Tahoe region, just keep a close eye on the sky. This area of low pressure, as I said, it's going to move just to the east into the day tomorrow, so just close enough to trigger more of these showers and storms into the mountains, some of which as we get into more of a, an easterly flow rather than onshore flow, they may creep down the hill just a little bit farther. So while places like Placerville and Auburn were dry today, as we go through the day on Tuesday, Placerville may see one of these showers creep to the south around four or five o'clock in the evening, probably not as strong as what we're seeing right now in those higher elevation spots. But just keep that in mind around dinner time. There may be a few showers around and you'll see that here on Futurecast through this evening. Things will settle down once we get past sunset. We lose the energy for the storms. They'll sort of collapse away and we start tomorrow off with some sunshine. Maybe a little bit of cloud cover as you get down into the valley that will end up clearing out. But look at this. This is right around 1 2 o'clock in the afternoon. More of these showers and storms start bubbling up and then you see it here. This is Highway 49 right here. You see Auburn and Placerville. Some of these cells get maybe just a little bit closer tomorrow compared to the last couple of days. So that will be something to watch out for tomorrow. Sacramento is going to stay dry. You'll notice the breeze Tuesday into Wednesday, then we settle things down and warm things up going into next weekend. Back to you. Thank you. Two big churches set to combine the name that will take over.